Hey, what's Davo? We got the major update with uh new festival bond. He's not transcendent. I think they, they meant transcendent for LR uh Las Vegas Meliodas. But yeah, let's get into his skills, his information, and the banner. Also, this just this just went live, so if it, if it's loading slowly, uh just know it, it ain't my fault. So so we got his skills, passives, and everything's pulled up. So let's take a look at the banner first. I ain't gonna lie to you. So, oh, this banner is stupid, bro. Purgatory, really, assault mode, and new LRLV with Light Escanor, Trader Melly, Demon Esterosa, well, Berserk Esterosa, Light Liz, and Infinity Merlin. He is good with every single, well, not, nah, he's not good with uh, Esterosa here, but he's good with all of these characters, bro. Uh, obviously, you want to build him on a full demon team, full demon team as well, but you can run Bond with Light Escanor. Liz, even if you wanted to, Infinity Merlin and his new LP. So, for the filler banner, you got uh, Zaneri, Red Tarmio, Green Sario, Summer Merlin, Nanashi, great, Red Excalibur Arthur, great, uh, rank up, no, wait, that is rank up, Liz, Blue Tarmio, Old Archangels, uh, Green Melascula, good, Green Awakened Mono, Green Roxy, Halloween Easton, oh, oh they pushing the table agenda, uh, Red, uh, Elaine, she's good for backline for like demons and stuff. And then uh, Brunhill, I need dudes for her. And I need dudes for Blue Elaine too. So pretty good. A, a, a stupid broken banner. And 900 can guarantee bond. So let's take a look at his skills, uh, his passive first. At the beginning of the battle, grants himself an area of robbery and increases the life related abilities for each seven daily sins character. All heroes, oh, well, all heroes about 5%. So what, you can get 15% uh, life still, essentially. So you can basically full heal every single time because they already have relatively good stats and stuff. Also, if you use a skill on an enemy with the mark of concentration effect, critical damage occurs. And when critical damage occurs, the effect is canceled. What was canceled? So it gets rid of them. So so like it's kind of like a ruin. I don't know. Let's 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 move on. Mark of concentration, critical rate minus 100%. Realm of robbery, when a friendly when a friendly seven daily sense hero uses a skill to damage an enemy during an ally's turn, reduce all enemies' attack related abilities by two percent. So that's gonna be go that's gonna go crazy with Infinity Merlin. Uh, all the debuffs she can apply, she can stun, attack seal. That on top of like lowering the crit, not not no. Just I think this is just one person. Uh, the market concentration. Think of it maybe like the the target Galen has or something like that. So it, it's gonna be crazy. Uh, where, where was I? Uh, during an ally in, during an ally's turn, reduce all enemies' attack related abilities by two percent for two turns. That can stack grants up to five times. So you can get up to lower ten percent attack related, and. Reduce the damage received by the corresponding ally hero by twenty percent. So if you use every, if you use like a, a AOE skill from everybody, I'm a, I'm assuming on a full send team, they get damage reduction, which is great. So his skills deals four fifty snipe to a single target. He has double single target snipe is uh, for every debuff on the enemy deal twenty five percent additional damage. So you can see why he he would go crazy with Infinity Merlins because the more debuffs, the better. Like <laughs> you do. <laughs> AoEs with, uh, well, probably two AoEs with her, and then follow up with like a single target from, from um, you don't even, it don't even gotta be her. You could just have somebody else do the AoEs with Merlin on the field, and they apply debuffs, right? And then you do this last, and they do like crazy damage. Skill two, oh, and it doubles crit damage as well. So, whew, attack crit damage gonna go stupid. Uh, skill two deal four fifty uh percent penetration damage to a single enemy, and applies two turn concentration mark uh penetration three three times uh penetration rate so he had like 120 from what i saw him from the live stream so three times that jesus christ and then concentration mark equals uh negative 100 percent crit chance so the fact that you this is the debuff skill so if you get two of this yeah that's actually stupid you can just apply that to like anybody Unless they got Chandler. And then Purgatory Melee does cleanse. But it, I, don't, I don't even think it matters. Because you go on one, you go on one turn. Him. You go on one turn, bro. I literally saw it on the stream. Like, they just got rid of him. He was just out of there. And then his ultimate for every one buff, debuff, and stance on enemies. Deal 40% additional damage and deal 600% crush damage to all enemies. If Bond is in the battlefield for every 
one attack related buff on the enemy increase the attack related stats by three percent max of 30 increase only by its own buff crush deals damage based on the enemy's patience okay so uh power strike <laughs> this is power strike okay cool oh god damn power strike. oh that's stupid um the bonds in the battlefield for every one attack related buff oh um he lowers attack related right so that's what that debuff is like it, this is um think of it like green sario kind of so like however many of these debuffs are on them he hits harder which is like borderline stupid so also we have freaking lv melly <laughs> he's uh absolutely stupid too but i think we'll get to that uh questionnaire i don't need to see that we got a new story chapter 30 gems and we got lr freaking melly bro look at this man he got bro I, from amazing tweet i had like 66 kcc and he jumps all the way to 75,000, bro. Uh, so this is how many uh, mats it takes. Let me see. I was actually curious to see how many it takes. So it takes 100 to LR him, And it takes like, what, three of these new rarity of books and six UR pendants? Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, that's like. What is that, like 36? It's like 36 in its own, right? Because it's like six for one. Six SSR pendants for one you are. So it's 36. My God, bro. <laughs> oh my God. Let me zoom out. <laughs> okay. Cool, 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 cool. We uh we we on a roll, bro. I'm excited, bro. I don't even think you can like L arm like right away either. Also, he's getting a holy relic as well, but we gonna get into that. Um are they not gonna even mention that? What? Where 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 is even his information? I could I could just tell y'all off memory, bro. He gets sever on a single target fill, like an added ability. He gets sever on top of fill with this, and the multiplier kind of goes up. And then his AOE charge gets an added effect of infect from level one all the way to level three. And then with his holy relic, he gets increased damage dealt per, per increased damage dealt by ten percent per gauge. So at fifty percent, he gets fifty percent extra damage dealt. And then his ultimate gets an extra added effect as well um he gets an all stat boost i think it was like 30 percent or something like that and then applies to himself before he actually deals the damage so he can just like nuke anything bro it's absolutely stupid so yeah see so you got the books i don't know what this is um added legend marks exclusive material for legend evolution okay is that what that was i saw it in, in a lot of streams. i was like what is this bro I, I don't understand it um legendary seals can be obtained in game content such as hero arena and underground labyrinth yo and the maximum amount you can possess is limited to 100 during the fourth year anniversary festival of greed you can get legend marks as mail rewards oh okay so you can get it through farming and you get it through the mail okay you can check the number of legend marks you have by touching the icon at the top okay 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 Okay, cool. New PvE added. They have yet to even talk about this in depth. They just showed literally these these three screens on live stream. Uh, how you can enter the bottom right through the top. Yeah, we we know how to get to it, bro. How to proceed? Choose one of five leagues with different difficulty levels and face three enemies. Each enemy has five defensive teams consisting of four characters, and defeating all the defensive teams wins the game. If you win battle, the next battle will be held in a row. And if you lose a battle, you can reorganize the team uh reorganize the attack team and challenge again you can earn hero arena coins by defeating all enemies in the league so basically the higher you go the hard, the more difficult it'll be and i'm guessing the rewards will be better too you can purchase the materials necessary for lr evolution at the heroes arena season shop by consuming hero arena coins so okay okay i thought there was like you can only hold a hundred of that currency to get the LR stuff, but no, no, no. Okay. Hill arena will be held for a total of four weeks and rewards and challenge information will be reset every week in the bat. If the battle is difficult, you can use the league reselection function to select another league In each season. There are characters to which enhancement effects are applied. Let's win the battle using corresponding characters. Okay. So it's like a buff character for this specifically. I don't, no, I'm guessing like whenever this comes out, an LR character drops. If so, that's kind of stupid, bro. I, I think that feels like a little too fast. But hopefully it's not how 
I just interpreted. So at Challenger, you get this little chest, depending on the corresponding league you choose. I, I guess go as high as you want. Probably the safe spot is probably gonna be like what platinum. <laughs> so, uh, but let's continue. Here, at Arena Shop, you can get a hundred of these. That's exactly enough to LR your boys. But you need thirty six on top of the 33 you need. So oh, I'm terrible at math, bro. <laughs> 33 plus 36, bro, you need, no, no, you don't need 69. Let's say if you didn't have LV Melly invested at all, you would need 69 to get them up from level one to LR if you're new, but you would need 36 to get them to LR on top of this 100, on top of like three of those new rarity of books. I'm guessing seven stars, something like that. His outfits are coming back, and we got new outfits for the new Sacred Treasure Bond. Uh, they look good. Of course, they're all what? Oh, they're all paid. None of them are 60? Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Interesting. We got a new artifact set. I have yet to even see what this uh, is. Let me see. I, I think I did see it, but I, I, I really didn't know what the heck it was. The maximum of HP of human allies increased by 7%, and then you get 10%. You do 10% less, well, oh, oh, you receive 10% less damage from single target attacks. Okay, okay, I'll fuck with it, I'll fuck with it, I'll fuck with it. Okay, human buff, I'm here for it. Oh, I don't wanna go on Twitter, that's dangerous. <laughs> and then we got the Holy Relic for Lost Fame Eliotis. Per gauge, he gets 10% damage though. So a max of 50% at max gauge. He has a feel, I don't know about him, it might not be as good on him, but we'll see. And then Deanne, let me see exactly how it was worded for her. She gets a holy relic for two turns each time I take a stance. The damage inflicted by allies increases by 30%. Hey, yo, that's good. And then her level one is for two turns too. So it literally takes up the same amount of like turns for her stance. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I see the vision. I see the vision. I literally see the vision. Add the festival characters to the coin shop. You can get Infinity Merlin and all these uh, other characters. Well, hey, you can... <laughs> Let's say you get shafted and don't pull an LV. You can just go to the freaking um, coin shop and pick up an LV and freaking LR. Uh, diamond bonus event. Yes, well territory. That's devil territory. We get the level 90 thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Money, money, money. You get the perfect uh, uh, gear set. I think this is very like high value. This two shit pendants are like mega valuable now. You need 36 extra, bro. Ain't no way, bro. Jeez Louise. Uh... Step up ticket pack. Yep. 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 One type of regular cell pack appears demons Well, I feel like if you want to get a demon pack now is the time bro. He's he's freaking stupid I think I might even get his relic and still do a showcase for him even though he hasn't got his like buff yet theoretically um, But I still think it's, it's, it's worthy of doing a video for uh, but fourth year anniversary festival login bonus you get bonus you get 300 gems WWW. Uh, and then we get another login bonus. You get these uh, tickets. Uh, what, what exactly do you use them for? I'm, I'm assuming you use it for this. Ah, yes. Okay, you use it for this freaking event. I forgot exactly what you do it, but essentially you get a whole lot of free stuff. You can get a free Freya. <laughs> that's that's big in itself. A rank of Diane. You can get these perfect SSR tickets, bro. The only thing is you gotta reroll the substats for the SSR ones, but you get six of these, 18. I feel like if they gave more of the rare ones, maybe like 24 or something like that, that would have been bigger. But like overall, a major, major W bro. Share of the wars, yeah. Um step 14, get a Grill more, and you get a Freyer at 13, bro. Whoo! <laughs> <laughs> then 14, you get a freaking UR seasonal character, man. Um, out of all these characters, I think the best one is what well, obviously her. I don't think you could pick, huh? You can get Rarity, Fully Awakened. I don't think, I don't, well, if you can pick, obviously pick her. But if it's not, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, um, and then you get a free multi for Bond and a, oh, you get two level 90s. You get one from a uh purchase pack and then you can get one for free okay 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 i see you i see you free multi on bond and free level 90 token and then what is this anniversary gift and snatch these are the little uh bonus passives you can get you know increased drop rate for demons you know yeah you know you know the whole spiel i'm assuming they'll add more part two so like in two weeks or even a week i don't even know they'll probably add like a level four and level five that's soon to come yeah exactly <laughs> i got the script i got the script there it is um 
bingo of it there's some too also we did get like that maraca and indigenous purgatory creatures coming too with the that green red demon uh but what is this oh this is the bingo stuff where you can get on like each of the thing you get some new furniture more of those tickets for the hawk thing so you get all those like perfect gear rolls and stuff and then essay coins and such here it is indigenous creature <laughs> look at it bro maraca man and green um big demon so uh i mean we got i don't know i feel like they could have did a little bit more instead of just rerunning this maybe give us a new boss on top of this too maybe or even bring back like paring i feel like that'd be something to do too um but yeah uh clear rewards you get these tickets for that uh mileage park thing and then you get gems oh my god such such a good anniversary bro um but yeah also we got new foods and stuff oh my goodness jeez louise uh let's actually see what these foods do because i had no clue i saw that they were coming uh 10 more memory fragments from the world tree that's cool 50 percent damage received in special moves exclude pvp and i'm assuming some other place uh 100 increase in acquisition of evolved and costume enhanced materials in destructive battles so in demons okay that's great the steak is great bro high key if you want to level up them costumes that steak is good um where to get the ingredients we are we just play the game bro literally uh and then reward dungeon you get this stuff basically I, I think you just do it once every day up once a day and fort soldiers and you'll be good and then the freaking uh what's it called furniture let's see what the furniture does event position battle exchange oh it tells you a oh, hawk sales settlement increased by one percent two percent increase in affection points earned with gifts one day one sale settlements to earn five strengthening stones Sheesh, i don't know uh, the furniture has never been really good for grand cross uh, it is what it is bro and then we got the king exchange event www more w's bro. <laughs> you love the king exchange event so um what is this i'll bring supports character enhancement equipment assembly great success patrol dispatch double skip tickets w lucky bag event you already know i think they give you what three for free and then you can buy the other two or something like that or it might be reversed i think they give you it might be four i think it's six of them right you get four for free and then i think you buy the other two or something like that we'll see hawk pass we know Mayo gets a new outfit they're not showing it why are you not showing it there it is okay Mayo gets a fast race car boy outfit it doesn't look great but it is something i don't even think he needed the outfit he was already set on like freaking cc in-app advertisement so for four soldiers you can um spend the roulette five times permanent free gotcha two times uh and then a battle event yay <laughs> and then improved display of event rewards w okay added character continuous super evolution function so you can now get a character as high as you want as long as you have all the mats so let's say you don't have a match to get them to 100 but you got exactly enough to get them to like 90 or something you can go to 90 w easy peasy lemon squeezy right improved display uh of rewards and lucky bag events and then a whole bunch of wait training cave he changed the maximum number of possession to be will be limited to 10. People have more than 10. I know Derby has like 30. <laughs> Theoretically 30, but like you can only have 10. Um, Shoko Tensei stuff is deleted. Uh, that's it. Bro, bro it's, it's, we're good. Like Bond, LV, Melly, bro, it's, it's an overall walking W, this, this celebration, bro. Let me know what you th guys think about both Bond and LV, Melly down in the comment section below. And if you made it to the end of the video, comment W, fourth anniversary. Comment that specifically, and I know you made it to the end. Peace out, y'all stay good, and I'll see y'all when I see you.